The Detroit Red Wings, one of the original six teams in the National Hockey League, boast a rich history that's intricately woven into the fabric of hockey culture. Central to their identity are the logos that have evolved over the decades, reflecting the team's journey and spirit. Join us as we explore the fascinating history of Detroit Red Wings logos. 1926 The first emblem of the Detroit Cougars consisted of an old English red letter D. 1927 to 1930 However, the second emblem of the Detroit Cougars club, like all logos of that time, was expressive, minimalist, and somewhat reminiscent of a banner. It was a red shield in the shape of a rectangle with a white outline and an old English white letter D, representing the city of Detroit. 1931 to 1932. In the 1931 to 1932 season, the club's name was changed to Detroit Falcons, and the logo was changed to change the club's misfortune. It was a simple emblem with the word Detroit arranged in an arch above Falcons. Both words were written in yellow letters with a thin red outline. 1932 to 1933. In 1932, the Detroit Red Wings got a new owner, James Norris. Getting a sports franchise, he immediately changed its style. The new logo was created from scratch and had nothing in common with the old word marks. It resembled a dream catcher, but in reality, it was a car wheel because, at that time, Detroit's auto industry was booming. Designers wanted to convey the city's most characteristic feature in the emblem. And to illustrate the hockey team's name, they added wings to the wheel. One of them was in front, so the white feathers outlined in red lines were visible. The second wing was behind, so the artists did not detail it. The entire emblem was white and red, the second color was mainly used for outlines. 1933 to 1948. Acquiring the franchise in 1932, James Norris completely changed its corporate style. Thus, the club got a new Detroit Red Wings emblem, which was a symbolic red car wheel with two red and white wings on the right. The club owner wanted to draw attention to Detroit's industrial development in the mid-20th century. Since then, the Detroit Red Wings emblem has undergone no significant changes, minor modifications affected small details, the sizes of the wheel, and wings. 1949, today. Revitalizing the game in Motor City, club owner James Norris chose a red-winged wheel as the emblem. This version has a dual meaning. First, it emphasizes the city's importance as the center of the automotive industry. Second, it conveys the team's close connection with Detroit. As a result, the new symbol has stood the test of time and is still in use. The club's logo is concise and contains nothing superfluous. It resembles a car wheel, the center of which is a set of wings, like Pegasus. Although only one wing is visible, a high double line at the top indicates that they are paired. The lower part of the wheel and feathers are painted red, everything else is white. Today, the winged wheel is extremely famous and recognizable in hockey. From its humble beginnings to its enduring legacy, the evolution of Detroit Red Wings logos mirrors the team's journey through triumphs and challenges. As the Red Wings continue to make history, their logos serve as a reminder of the rich heritage that defines this storied franchise. Thanks for joining us on this journey through hockey history. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content on your favorite NHL teams. Until next time, keep the spirit of the game alive. Go Red Wings!